Hello and welcome, this is Eagle i621 and today we are back in the armor testing world again because in the latest snapshots, netherite god armor became a thing. If you want to learn exactly what all these things mean and how the enchantments work, I'm going to leave a link to the last video where we went over this in a lot of detail. This is just a shorter update about the netherite god armor thanks to the smithing table. And I will show you, you can even create this in survival. If we switch over into survival, I gave myself uh, some unnecessary levels. And this is the diamond god armor that you've seen before. And I will make a link to this. And in the current snapshot, there is a new enchantment called soul speed, which you can get by bartering. You can actually add this to the god armor. And... If you combined the armor in the way I showed in the other video, and I will link to these videos, do mind the audio, they were some of my very first videos. In your current version, you can actually take the sole and put it on your boots, and it's not too expensive and it won't break. And we are in survival, and indeed you can do that. So I'll have some links to these videos so you can see how the combinations should have gone if you're still in 1.14.1 or 0.2. And then you can upgrade these into the god armor by putting the netherite ingot with them and they do now keep their enchantments as you can see. So exactly how good is this armor? Let's go over to this set over here, which I already made, and this is just the netherite god armor, as you can see. And we'll put this on, and then we'll head over to this chest just to grab some food, as well as some TNT, some creeper eggs, get some end crystals, and some flint, and then some splash potions to do some quick repairing in between. And I'll start with these skeletons. Now they have been given power five bows. Let's get back into survival mode here. So you can see what a power five bow will do to this armor. And pretty much nothing. Now we do have thorns on, and the thorns is damaging them, and so far they've done no appreciable damage. And one died, and the other will die, and they've done one heart's worth of damage, which will be repaired just by eating. So in terms of your projectile protection, there's a reason they call it god armor. Speaking of jumping into lava and nothing's happening and because it's netherite armor it's not even taking any durability damage that uh, damage you saw was from the skeletons now with this armor you can actually eat and repair your health faster than the lava will kill you so you can see very slowly you are being damaged but long before you're in any real trouble, you'll be able to eat some more and regain all of your hearts. So you can swim in lava for as long as you want, provided you still have food. And because the netherite armor doesn't take any damage from the fire, then you don't have to worry about that. You don't even need any noob juice potions if you have the netherite god armor. And now let's make this stop. Quick repairs, and let's see what a creeper does to this. Pushing up against it, and it did three hearts. Let's try that again. Two and a half hearts. And you're going to find the same outcome with TNT. It's just standing right in the middle. Three hearts. And let's do that again. It's 
standing right in the middle. That one was three and a half hearts. TNT and creepers are no longer a problem. Now, even something like end crystals. Let's check that out. Let's get rid of this and let's set up a little box for ourselves so that we know exactly where we are and put the end crystal in the very next block. Of course, let's go back into survival mode and not accidentally do that. Survivable. Punching an end crystal and it wasn't that close. He had about a heart or two, which is okay, a little close, but for punching an end crystal, it's pretty fantastic. And then if you've seen any of these videos, you do know how they have to end. And that is with this aptly named Charged Creeper Friend. So let's jump in and see what happens. Pressing right up against the charged creeper and nothing. So this armor is got armor for a reason, and there's a reason that you can't make this anymore. If you didn't make this in 1.14.1 or 1.14.2, then you can't get it. Uh, you still may be able to get the treaty skelly helmets that have double protection on them and get a sort of version of this, but this is the best armor in the game right now. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate a like. And for more videos like this, do be sure to subscribe. And be sure to check out the links below to see how to make the God armor if you're still in that 1.14 or 1.14.2 Java versions. Thanks for stopping by.